brothers, sons of the desert, we are all familiar with the business of this special meeting. This oasis must meet the situation with determination. I repeat, this oasis must face the situation with determination. Every man must be accounted for. Every man must do his part. There must be no weaklings in our midst. We must put our very hearts and souls into this great undertaking. There must be no thought of failure. We must stand shoulder to shoulder. We must work. We must sacrifice. The weak must be helped by the strong. For gentlemen, this, the oldest lodge in the great order of the sons of the desert, must be represented 100% in our annual convention at Chicago next week. We will now take the oath. And remember, once taken, this oath has never been broken by any man down through the centuries of time in the history of this fraternal organization. If any member is doubtful of his strength to keep this solemn pledge, he will please be seated. Place yourselves in position to receive the oath. Do you all solemnly swear to be present at our 87th annual convention at Chicago? I, I do. do. Me too. Wholeheartedly unanimous. We are the sons of the desert, having the time of Why didn't you want to take the oath? I was afraid. Afraid of what? Well, I was afraid if I took the oath to go to the convention that maybe my wife wouldn't let me go. Of course she'll let you go. Why, she'll have to let you go. You took an oath. I know, that's what I'm worrying about. The exhausted ruler said that if you took an oath that it would have to be broken for the generations of centuries of hundreds of years. And my wife would let... Do you have to ask your wife everything? Well, if I didn't ask her, I wouldn't know what she wanted me to do. Mm. I didn't want to... I say... never realized that such a deplorable condition existed in your home. Why don't you pattern your life after mine? I go places and do things and then tell my wife. Every man should be the king in his own castle.
Now, buck up. Go in and tell her you're going to the convention. Be a man, and I'll see you in the morning. Stanley with you? He just went in the house. Well, you better tell him that Betty went duck hunting and that she won't be back until late. All righty. Oh, yes, baby? Please close the door. There's an awful draft in here. get in there? Well, I was looking for Betty and I came in the back way. I thought she might be in there. Betty has gone duck hunting and won't be home until late. Oh. Well, good night. Good night. What? Do you realize that you've locked me out? Well, why don't you ring the bell? She'll let you in. Get nervous. She'll be here in a minute. Where do you think I live? Oh, what do you think this is? Halloween? Come in here, you bad boy. Come on. What do you want? I locked myself out. Oh, Sugar? Yes? Do you mind if Stanley comes and stays with us until Betty comes home? He's locked out. Oh, all right.
What are you eating? An apple. Where'd you get it? In there. Why, that's not real fruit. It's imitation. It's made of wax. What's he been doing now? He's been eating that phony fruit. Oh, so that's where it's been going. That's the third apple I've missed this week. Well, what's new, sugar? Oh, nothing much. What's new with you? Oh, nothing to speak of. Yes, there is. You didn't tell her about going to the convention. What convention? That's right. I'm glad you reminded me. You see, the Sons of the Desert are giving their annual convention in Chicago next week. And Stan and I are going. Oh, you are? Uh, we thought the trip would do us good. Uh, besides being good for us in a business way. You see, we'll meet new friends and, 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 and see a lot of new faces and the change of climate will be good for us in a good many ways. And besides, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Jack who? Well, I hope you have a nice time, dear. Thank you, sugar. <laughs> What's that for? Just this. You're not going. What do you mean, I'm not going? Just that. You're not going to the convention. You're going to the mountains with me. But he can't go to the mountains, you see. He took a note. And the exhausted ruler said that... Now listen, it... Dodo. You keep out of this. Wait a minute, sugar. There's no use getting excited. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Certainly, li life isn't short enough. Are you going? Huh? I said, are you going? Yes, sugar. Uh, Mrs. Hardy. Who said so? Him. Oh. Well, you can do as you please. But you're going to the mountains with me. Now, wait a minute. You listen to this. I want this understood once and for all. I'm not going to the convention. I'm going to the mountains. That's just what I said. That you're not going to the mountains. That you're going to the... That you're going to the mountains. Well, why don't you compromise? What do you mean, compromise? Well, he means, sweetheart. Oh, I? shut up. If you think that you're going gallivanting off with a lot of hoodlums to any convention whenever you want to, you're not. Not for a minute, you're not. Here I am, slaving day after day, washing an ironing till my fingers bleed. And do you appreciate it? Do you? Well, you don't give me... Oh, shut up. Don't talk back to me. Just because I'm unselfish, what does it get me? Working for you. Working for your interests. I plan a vacation for you in the mountains at a nice resort where they play bridge and have lectures on art and color. I fight crowds in department stores, dying of the heat, killing myself trying to get a nice mountain outfit together. Why? 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 Oh, you keep out of this. I'll tell you why, so you won't be ashamed of me. And do you appreciate it? Do you? Ha! <laughs> Uh, you want to take the first chance to run out to the convention. Convention. You go to the convention over my dead body, I'll put you in jail first. And you too, with the rest of the sons of the... Oh, the sons of the dead. What do you think? Oh, don't pay any attention to her. She's only clowning. She'll snap out of it. <laughs> Are you going to stand for that? You're darn right I'm not going to stand for it. I'm the boss in this house, and when I say I'm going to the convention, I'm going to... Oh, Lottie. Oh, hello. 
Hello, Betty. Come on in. Didn't have very good luck today, but here's a couple for you. Oh, thanks, Betty. What's the matter, Lonnie? You look worried. Oh, I just had another run-in with that barnacle of mine. Stanley's in there, too. Oh. And furthermore, you're making a big mistake. What do you mean? If you're not careful, she's going to get the upper hand of you. Now, mark my words. The upper hand of me. <laughs> Impossible. All right, have it your own way. You know, I may not be king of my castle, but I certainly wouldn't allow my wife to wear any pants. Hmm. I'd like to see my old woman throwing things around. It's disgraceful. Never heard of such goings off. On. You know, if my ball and chain ever talked to me, if she even dared to raise a... Do you know what I'd say? What? I'd say... Hello, honey. I... Well, you think it over. I'll see you in the morning. could be the matter with me. Oh. Well, it, it looks to me like a severe nervous breakdown. Uh. You've gone all to pieces, and it happened so uh. suddenly. Probably that terrible argument we had the other night caused it all. Oh. I wouldn't be a bit uh. surprised. Uh. Oh. Where is Stanley? Uh, he's gone out. Where'd he go? Well, uh, he didn't want me to tell you, but... Uh, He's awfully worried about you, and he thought you ought to have a doctor. Why did you let him do that? You know I don't like doctors. Oh, oh now, don't get all upset. I know what's good for you. You're going to have a doctor, and you're going to do just what the doctor says. All right, sweetheart. You always know what's best. Listen, darling, I'll get you some aspirin. Oh, oh and, and I'll get you some more hot water. Oh. Oh. Did you get the doctor? Yeah, he'll be in a few minutes. Good. Did you fix it with him to tell me that I had to go to Honolulu for my nerves? Our plan is working out great. It sure is. I got it all fixed. But why, why do you want to go to Honolulu? Don't you understand that this is only a subterfuge? To throw the wives off the track? so that we can go to the convention? Oh, then you're not going to the mountains. Of course not. We are supposed to go to Honolulu so that the wives will think that we... Not you. Oh. Stan, did you get a doctor? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Best in town. Oh, fine. Here, darling. Oh. Here's your hat. Oh. Now, take your feet out. Oh. Oh. There. Now, try that. Oh, oh. Stan! Oh. Oh. oh, you poor dear. Oh. I'll get you some cold water. Oh. 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 What are you doing? I've lost the aspirin. Can you move over a bit? Move over a bit more, I can't. Oh, 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 o
thing out of there. Oh, oh. Boy. oh boy. Oh. Come here, dear. Oh. You oh. sit down there. Oh. Why? Oh. You fuck. Oh. 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 Get me out of here. Oh. 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 Get my little sugar bunny, it's little self. Oh. 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 No, oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. 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 Get that thing out of here. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, oh, darling. Oh. 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 darling, you sit down. All right. Yeah, I, I think I'd better go and get some dry clothes on. Will you get out of my way? You wax eater. Perspiring. Maybe you have got a fever. I do feel hot. You'd better take my temperature. Get that thermometer. The what? Thermometer. You'll find it on the shelf. Oh. Oh. What does it say? Wet and windy. That's a barometer. Did you get a veterinarian? Well, I didn't think his religion would make any difference. This way, Doctor. Oh! 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 That's Mr. Hardy. Hello, Doctor. Oh, Doctor, I'm so glad you're here. My um, husband's been suffering terribly. Well, what seems to be the trouble? Oh. I think he's suffering from a nervous shakedown. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho! Oh. Aha! Uh-huh. My, my, my. Oh, what is it, Doctor? It looks like a bad case of canis delirus. As bad as that? Even worse. It might be double canis delirus. Oh! Well, if it's that bad, maybe you better give him something, Doctor. Oh, Doctor, you must, maybe you must the... give him something. Oh, there, now there, darling, you be quiet. Oh, my poor oh. little lambkin. Oh, oh, he's going to be all right, oh. yes. Yes, he is. Oh! Oh! Sit up, sit up. Open up your mouth. Mm. Mm. Oh. There, there, oh. darling. Now, oh. everything's going to be all right. Oh. oh, Doctor, do you think I'd better put him to bed? No, no. What he really needs is a long ocean voyage with plenty of tropical air and sun. Oh. Now, I'd suggest a trip to... a trip to... Honolulu. Oh, oh but, Doctor, oh. Uh, wouldn't the mountains do as well? I'm a very bad sailor, and, oh, I just can't stand the water. Nope. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hardy. But a voyage to Honolulu 
is the only cure for your husband. Oh. Oh. I won't go to Honolulu. If you can't go, sugar, I'll just stay home and suffer. You'll do nothing of the kind. If the doctor uh, says you must go to Honolulu, you'll do just as the doctor says. But I can't go to Honolulu alone. I've got to have someone to take care of me. Oh, well, maybe Stanley will be kind enough to go with you. Well, I never thought of that. Will you go, Stanley? Where? To Honolulu. I can't go to Honolulu. Why? I'm going to the convention. What do you mean, you're going to the convention? Well, I forgot to tell you. I asked Betty and she said I could go. That settles it. I'm not going to Honolulu. Oh, yes, you are. You're going to Honolulu if you have to go alone. Well, if I have to go to Honolulu alone, he's going with me. <laughs> Don't grow flowers out there that smell like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a job, isn't it, boy? Can <laughs> 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 you take it? Say, boy, come on, let's, come on over to my table and have a drink, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
as I gaze into her eyes, Honolulu, baby, where'd you get those eyes and the dark complexion? I just idolize, Honolulu, baby, where did you get that style and the pretty red lips and that sunny smile? Where'd you start to dance? You hold it in the then you shake it up and down. You shake a little here, you shake a little there. When you got the boys going to town, Honolulu, baby, you know your stuff. Honolulu, baby, gonna call your We're killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> We're seeing as much here as we could have seen in Honolulu. <laughs> hey, what's the laugh? I don't get it. Shall we tell it? Our wives think that we're in Honolulu for my health. <laughs> You're pulling a fast one, huh? <laughs> been to the convention, had a swell time, going home in the morning, and nobody's any the wiser. <laughs> Say, by the way, what part of California you fellas from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles? <laughs> what a small world. What a small world. Would you believe it? I got a sister lives out there. No. Yeah, no kidding. Haven't laid eyes on her since I got out of reform school. <laughs> So I've got a great idea for a gag. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call her up long distance and disguise my voice and she won't know who it is. <laughs> oh, that's a dog. <laughs> hey, waiter, another bottle of bubble water. Be right back, fellas. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Use your lost language score, Mr. Chase. Oh, swell. Hello? 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 I'll bet you can't guess who this is. <laughs> All right. Who is it? It's your little brother, Charlie. <laughs> well, for goodness sake. It's my brother, Charlie. Uh, where are you? Uh, I'm out in Chicago. They're throwing a convention for me. <laughs> Oh, well, fancy hearing from you after all these years. You know, Charlie, I haven't seen you since you sang in the choir. And you used to pump the organ, remember? You little organ pumper, you. <laughs> <laughs> See, listen, I want you to talk to a fellow from Los Angeles, a swell guy. Wait a minute. Hello? So this is Charlie's sweet little sister. <laughs> I feel just like I know you. <laughs> uh, Charlie tells me you're from Los Angeles. Uh, what part? All of me. <laughs> what'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> she asked me if I was from Los Angeles, and I said yes. Then she said, what part? And I said, all of me. What a doll! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> you little jokester. When you get back to town, drop in and see me. I'd just love to have you meet my husband. I sure will. What's the address? Write this down. Two, 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 
to Fairview Avenue. To, to. Uh, goodbye, sugar. What'd you hang up for? Well, we had we had a bad connection. <laughs> but isn't she a swell gal? She sure is. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's the matter, Lottie? If I didn't know Oliver was in Honolulu, I'd swear that was he on the phone. Oh, they're in Honolulu, all right. Why, Stanley wouldn't dare lie to me. I hate to think what would happen if he ever did. Hey, at least fellas have a chance. Come on. Say, you know that's my wife? Texas 97. New York 43. New York 43. Piper, get your evening paper. On a little liner thinking. X3. Lottie! Lottie! Look! Yes, yes, I just read it. Oh, what are we going to do? I'll telephone the steamship company and find out if they have a list of the survivors yet. No. No. We'll go down there. Go on, get your hat. All right, meet you outside. <laughs> Quiet, please. Mr. Rutledge has a radiogram he wishes to read. This is the latest wireless report. Honolulu Steamship Company, Los Angeles. The survivors of the ill-fated Muana have been safely transferred to the rescue ship. A list of the casualties will be made known as soon as a complete checkup is made. Expect to arrive in port in 36 hours. Signed, Captain John Zeeloff. Oh, Betty, I do hope the boys are safe. Oh, this suspense is just killing me. Have courage, Lottie. Let's not think of the worst. Well, I, I try not to, but, oh, I'm so worried about Oliver. You know how unselfish he always was. Why, he wouldn't leave that ship until everybody was saved. Well, if they're safe, Oliver certainly deserves a medal. You know, Stanley can't swim a stroke. Oh, I, I never thought of that. Baby's home, sugar. 
Get out of my way. No. I wonder where she is. Maybe she went out. I know she went out. But what I'd like to know is where did she went? Maybe she went to the mountains with Betty. That's probably just where she is. She makes me sick. She knew we were coming home today. What did she have to go to the mountains for? Well, if, if she didn't go to the mountains, Muhammad would have to come here. What has Muhammad got to do with my wife? Notes from the clubs. No. What's the matter? Honolulu liner sinking, foundering in typhoon. Passengers and crew on SS Muana in panic as wireless fails. Sister ship Liwana reaches scene of disaster in 90 mile gale. Rescue ship due back in Los Angeles Harbor tomorrow. Huh. Oh. Can you beat that? I'm sure glad we didn't go. If we'd have. There's no one in there. Betty, I could have sworn I heard that door close. It's probably our imagination. We're both so nervous and upset. And... Oh, Betty, do you really think they're safe? Oh, don't worry, dear. Let's think for the best. Oh. Oh, I... Oh! Oh, I have the strangest feeling. I... Oh, I feel as if they were hovering right over me. Oh, don't talk that way. You give me the jitters. Oh, I can't help it. Oh, I'm just going all the... Well, what if you're going to act like that way, I'm going. Oh, don't leave me, Betty. Don't, don't leave me, just before I come. We've got to face this situation with determination. I, oh, come on. I know, Betty, I'm doing the best I can. Well, I know it's a terrible oh. thing. Do you think they saw us? Of course not. If they had, they'd have been up here. To catch a hardy, they've got to get up very early in the morning. What time? Oh, about half past. What time? Uh. Be careful. Do you want them to hear us? How are we going to get to a hotel? Simple. We'll go down through Betty's house. Lock. Well, it looks like we're here for the night. We can't sit up here all night. We're not going to sit up all night. We'll fix ourselves a nice bed and be just as comfortable as two peas in a pod. <laughs> oh. Give me a hand with the spring. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> while I get some rope. Don't sit there looking at me. Do something to help me. Get me some rope or something. 
What are you going to do with it? None of your business. Do as I tell you. Shh. It serves you right. Now I let him go to the convention. He could have been having such a good time instead of being in that awful shipwreck. <laughs> oh. oh, it's all my fault. Don't worry, Lottie. Maybe they're not as bad off as we think. Oh, Betty, if I could only see him just once more. idea of them making a sucker out of me. Mm. That's what burns me up. Oh, sit down, Lottie. You make me nervous. Oh, shut up. Stanley wouldn't dare lie to you. <laughs> well, it's the first time he ever did. <laughs> and if it wasn't for your husband's bad influence, this never would have happened. Oh, that's so. Say, are you trying to infer that my husband alone was the cause of this? I certainly am. That wax ear of yours is no different from the rest. He had just as much to do with this as my Oliver did. Oh, I admit he lied. But there's one thing I do know. When he gets back home and I ask him, he'll confess and tell me everything. <laughs> That's more than that blimp of yours will do. Uh, well, you just wait till I get back home. And I'll show you who the truthful one is. I'll have you understand that my Oliver is upright. Oh, I'm a bit skipper. There you are. Fit for a king. We'll have a good night's sleep, go down in the morning, tell them about the shipwreck, and nobody will be any the wiser. I've certainly got to hand it to you. For what? Well, for the meticulous care with which you have executed your finely formulated machinations in extricating us from this devastating dilemma. Then, on the other hand... Get in bed. Huh? Meticulous. Mm. Now hold it for me. Now isn't this nice? It sure is. We're just like two peas in a pot. Not pot. Hard. Hard. Well, good night, Lottie. I'm going to run along. If they come here first, give me a call. I'm dying to hear Oliver's story. Oh, Betty, what was that? I'll find out. Oh, no, stop! Stop me! They're probably asleep and didn't hear it. Sure lucky. Oh, Betty, do be careful. 
It might be a burglar. Don't worry about me. I've got my gun, and I've never missed yet. Oh, quick, let's get on the roof. Come on. very strange going on around here, and I'm going to call the police. Oh, that's a good idea. Come on, let's go. Now what are we going to do? What do you think? Well, I'm not going to sit up here all night and, and catch double ammonia. I down the drain pipe, put our clothes on the garage and go to a hotel. You can do what you like, but I'm going home. What are you I'm... going to tell Betty? I'm going to tell her everything. So you're turning yellow. Huh? You're yellow. Must be the lightning. You little double-crosser. If you go downstairs and spill the beans, I'll tell Betty that I caught you smoking a cigarette. All right, go ahead and tell her. What do you think? Would you tell her that? I would you? I would. You know what we'll do? What? We'll climb down the garage, and we'll change our clothes in the drain pipe, then we'll go to a hotel, and we'll be just as comfortable as two peas in a pod chair. Go on, uh, get down off. Go on. You'll have me catching them on you. I'll just them on you. Now, why did you tell me to spread my legs? Well, I didn't want you to get your feet wet. Help me get out of here. Don't tell him anything. What's going on here? Why, nothing, officer. Where do you live? Why, I'd rather not say. Oh, so you don't want to talk, eh? Well, it's just that so. Where do you live? Huh? Where do you live? I live next door to him. Yes. Yeah. Where does he live? He lives in there. Oh, quit your kidding. Where does he live? I'm not kidding. If you don't believe me, go in and ask him. That's a good uh, idea. Well, come, on, we'll find out. come on, come on, come on, come on. Get them going. Hurry up. Yes, sir. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. What are we going to tell them? You think up your own story. I've got mine. What you have to... Hey, is he or no? Where's that gun? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Calm yourself. Let's hear their story first. Because don't forget, you and I have got a little argument to settle. And after that, well, you can do as you please. Oh, all right. I'll show you. Oh, oh, oh. thank you, oh. officer. Oh, oh. Oh, Oliver. Oh. What's happened? Where are your clothes? Oh, wait till oh. I get my second wind. Oh. Stanley, whatever has happened. You tell your story, Oliver. Oh. Oh. oh, on our way back from Honolulu, we were in a terrible shipwreck. Now, you see, honey, if you'd let me go to the convention, I wouldn't have gone through this horrible experience. Oh, oh, oh well, tell us all about it, please. All right, all right. We were sailing along in clear weather when all of a sudden a terrible storm came up. Didn't it, Stanley? Yeah, and then we floundered in a typhoid. Not typhoid. He means typhoon, sugar. Then the ship started to sink and we both dived overboard. Didn't we, Stanley? Uh, yeah, just as the boat was going down for the third time. And here we are. Aren't you glad we got back home safe? Well, what's new, sugar? 
Well, the rescue ship with the survivors doesn't get in until tomorrow. The rescue? Oh, so, oh well, it must have got there after we left. That's right. It must have gotten there after we left. Thank you, Stanley. You're welcome. <laughs> well, then how did you get here? Why, uh... uh oh, we ship hiked. That's right, we... We ship hiked. Ship hiked? Yes. We thumbed our way. What do you mean, thumbed your way? Well, Stan and I'd be swimming along. We'd see a boat coming our way. We'd go like that, and they'd pick us up. Wouldn't they, Stanley? Yeah, of course, that's if they were going our way, mind you. Oh, certainly. Now, that you see, Betty, he's no different from the rest. They're both like two peas in a pod. Pod. Uh, Shut up! Have you anything else to say? Well, no. That's all there is. There isn't any more. Is there, Stanley? No, that, that's our story, and we're stuck with it. In it. Uh. Oliver. What, sugar? Oliver, I want you to be big. Bigger than you've ever been before. Are you telling me the truth? What do you mean, am I telling you the truth? Do you think that a story like that could come from my mind? If it wasn't the truth? <laughs> Why, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's absurd. It's <laughs> the silliest thing I ever well, heard. Well, it certainly is. Why, it's too far-fetched not to be the truth. Isn't it, Stanley? It's imposterous. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley. What? Stanley. Honest confession is good for the soul. Is Oliver telling the truth? Go ahead and tell her. Is he? No. We must have come back. We didn't go to Hot Lover at all. He told me to tell you he was sick and we didn't know what his ship wreck. We were up in the attic and up in our friend of all. I think we set up in the attic. He told me to do that. Come on, Stanley. Oh, no, we did not find you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. How about you and me going to the mountains? You're not moving out tonight, are you, sugar? Why don't you wait until tomorrow morning so we can talk it over? See, Stanley, honesty is the best policy.
town of the desert. Go to a convention, will you? Come in. What she say? Never mind what she said. What did Betty say? Betty said that honesty was the best politics. Look. Honolulu, baby, won't you close those eyes? 